Hey, it's Wabbit. Today is April 26, 2021, and Apple dropped Mac OS Big Sur 11.3. With this update, if you have two HomePods, you can access them as a stereo pair. Prior to that, it was not possible unless you had a workaround, which I did a video on that a few months ago. So this is an updated video, and I want to show you uh, that it's working and if the lag was addressed by Apple. So just as a quick reminder, currently I'm on Mac OS Big Sur 11.2.3, and I have one of the HomePods selected. Uh, the one in the middle, that is a HomePods AirPlay device that I am unable to delete. Uh, even though I've gone through all the different steps so it's not something that I can use but just to confirm uh, when I click on that it asks me to enter a code so I'm not going to be using that so I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these home pods because I have two in the office let me go ahead and play some music and then we'll just show you out of the left side here as you can see the plus and minus buttons so this is active and you can hear music coming out of this side and then let me come to the right side no plus or minus buttons and no sound so let's switch so this is going to be the right side you can see the uh, plus and minus buttons on so this one's powered we got music coming out of here back over to the left side nothing no music so again this is the current situation if you're running prior to 11.3 so I'm gonna pause get this updated and we'll see if this has been fixed all right so through the power of editing we've already got 11.3 installed as you can see here so we're now in the current latest version let's come up here to the sound app and now we see just one office airplay so now it's recognizing them as a stereo pair so that answers the first question it now sees them as a stereo pair but here comes the well actually we got two things to test one is want to make sure we're getting audio now out of both sides and then also the lag you're gonna get the answer to those here if you kinda watch but let's go ahead and play a song I click play you kinda notice the lag there I can control the volume on the computer. That's pretty sp uh, responsive, no delay there. And let's just go to the right side to check for audio. And let's go to the left. Okay, so we now have the both home pods as a stereo pair, but did you catch that lag? So if you missed that part, if I click pause, it should be right away. There should be no delay, but watch this delay here. Do you hear that? Do it again for you. Click, uh, click play. Probably about a two to three second delay. Yeah, so there's your answer. Uh, I do want to try a talking head video, so I'm gonna pull up one of mine and I'm gonna hit play again you're gonna hear that delay let's just kinda of see what happens but once I got it in my hands and then used it I'm sold uh, okay so you saw the delay there it took a little while the audio and the video are in sync but you do have that initial two to three second lag from clicking play and also clicking pause last I want to check a native app so I've got Apple TV uh, pulled up here and then I've got this particular uh, video so let's click play and see if we have a delay with a native Apple app his job is to protect his 40 square kilometer territory from rival lions. so we got delay on the play let's hit pause yeah so even with and I think this is a bit different I I, I thought with the the previous version at least on uh, beta testing or I'm sorry before the update you, it, there was no lag with Apple products and notice when I restarted the computer that it defaulted to in my particular case the built-in speakers on the Mac mini so if I wanted to go back to the home pods I have to manually select that I don't know if that's gonna happen in your case if you have an iMac uh, or a different model this is the M1 Mac mini so curious what you find out if you restart your computer 
And the other thing I noticed too is when I was doing the editing as I dropped the videos onto the desktop, the system sound was playing through the Mac Mini speakers. So I came over here, you, know, you click on these, you get those little sounds. That was coming through the actual Mac Mini. When I click on the drop down, I don't see HomePods here. It's actually seeing the Rodecaster Pro. Uh, I checked on the Mac Air, same thing. It's not recognizing. So again, and I also did a quick search online. So I, I don't know if this is a work as design, if this is a bug. So I'd be curious if you are on a version earlier than 11.3 and you have HomePods, are you able to select the HomePods for your sound effects as an output device? Okay, this video is going way longer than I expected. I did not mean to put my mug on here, but I just might as well just tell you these two things I just found out as I'm doing all this. So um, I'm in a Discord group and we've been talking about all of our findings as Apple has dropped these massive updates today. Watch, iPad, iOS, and, and Mac OS. And I shared the findings that I just shared with you about the stereo HomePods. And there's someone that has a 2019 iMac, which means they're on the Intel version. In their experience, when they hit play, there is that two second delay, but then when they do pause or stopping audio, it's instant. So it got me thinking, I wonder if we have something with hardware. So this is where I need your help. If you have a stereo HomePods and you've updated 11.3, please let me know in the comments below what model or hardware do you have? Do you have the Intel? Do you have the M1? Um, I also checked on the M1 MacBook Air. I'm getting the exact same results as I did on the M1 Mini. So perhaps, and again, this again, unofficial, don't quote me on this, maybe this is something that can be updated down the road. We'll wait and see. Anyway, that's all I got. I apologize for the lengthy video. If there's something that I didn't answer, please let me know. But I do hope this helped answer some of your questions as you decide how do you want to proceed if you're in a similar situation. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Please be safe. I'll catch you in the next video.